Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, Director of Curatorial and Educational Affairs for the Balch of New Jersey. Today we're going to look at some of the objects in our collection. Like most museums, we have far more artifacts than we're able to put out on display. So, in a couple of places throughout the ship, we have rotating exhibits. Uh, these are not the traditional style of exhibits where everything is in a glass case. Uh, because we're primarily dealing with military objects, which are extremely robust. So, for brief periods of time, we can set these objects out so visitors can interact with them. These are some of the objects that we have set out in the month of March. Our theme for the month was our 1980s commission. So, if you visit the ship, you'll see that there are like gray metal, they almost look like Kleenex boxes uh, in some of the workstations around the ship and near every single bed on the ship. These are emergency escape breathing devices or EEBDs. And this orange case would be inside of that Kleenex box looking thing. Uh, and these were added to the ship in the 1980s following the Falklands War. During the Falklands War, Great Britain and Argentina had some of the most recent naval combat in history. Uh, and during that conflict, some Argentinian, Argentinian Exocet missiles hit British destroyers and frigates. When they exploded, uh, many crew were killed in their bunks uh, by the smoke, fumes from modern synthetics burning, that sort of stuff. So the US Navy, looking at this, went back and retrofitted these escape breathing devices all over the ship so that if there's an emergency and a bomb goes off in your sleeping compartment, you've got 15 minutes of air, you can pull this out, put it on, open it up. There's a hood inside that has enough air in it for you to get out of this space. So we've got a couple of these in our collection, so we were not worried about putting one out for visitors to see. Another neat object in our collection is this t-shirt, the style of which was sold in the ship store during the 1980s. There is a new and awesome presence off the coast of Beirut this morning, the battleship New Jersey with guns capable of flinging a Chevrolet 23 miles. And this was a quote said by Bill Curtis on the CBS Morning News, 26 September, 1983, uh, while New Jersey was off of the coast of Lebanon. Another interesting 80s artifact we have here is one of the cruise books. Cruise books are extremely similar to your high school yearbook. It's got, say, pictures of individual crew members in them based on their division and pictures of the crew doing things around the ship. Uh, also, much like a yearbook, it's got history of the ship in the beginning We have hundreds of cruise books in the collections from at least uh, 10 or 12 different cruises that the crew took. Here are all the officers. Part of Battle Group Romeo. Some of the places that the ship visited. This one in particular is from 1988, when the ship visited Australia. So it's called Big Thunder Down Under. Uh, while we have a large number of cruise books, we have far more cruise books for the World War II, Korea, and Vietnam eras than we do for the 1980s. So if any of you 80 sailors are watching this and you have any of your cruise books from the 1988, 1989, uh, 1990 timeframes, uh, we would love to add them to the collection. But again, because we have multiples of these, we were able to put some out for people to flip through if they're interested. One of my favorite types of objects in our collection are wog paddles. 
So this is part of a uh, hazing ritual that happens on Navy ships. Uh, most frequently when you cross the equator, the shellbacks on the crew, the individuals who had crossed the equator before, get to haze the polywogs, the ones who have never crossed the equator. And uh, sometimes on ships like this, it is a multi-day ritual. One of the things the shellbacks do is they take old uh, cut up fire hose and they make wog paddles or shillelaghs. And this is a great way to discipline your polywogs. Uh, while we are closed for the foreseeable future, we will be bringing you more content like this where we pull objects out of the collection and tell you about it. And when we reopen, make sure you come back out and see some of these objects and, and uh, get some hands-on time with them while you're taking your tour of the ship. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to tune in every day for additional content.